I want you as a lymphedema patient to know what are the 10 most important tips to remember. And if you can tick each one, you on the road to managing your lymphedema really well. My name is Margie Hare and I've been working for 20 years in this industry and I must say I'm really excited because there are a couple of things that have come on in the last 18 months to two years that really help with the management of lymphedema. So let's start at number 10. Number 10 is are you wearing your compression garment every day? Number 9 are you exercising every day? The exercise can be shigong or tai chi or swimming, but every single day, minimum 20 minutes. Are you having a real good check on your low fat diet? Low or zero? There's a real problem with lymphedema. It attracts fat cells. So we want to eliminate that as it compacts in the tissue and then it impacts on the lymphatic flow. The other thing to just bear in mind, not only the low fat or zero, but low inflammatory products and components of your diet. So on my website, you'll see all of that. There's a guideline for low inflammatory diet, specifically for lymphedema patients. Number seven, self massage is something that I teach my clients, but it doesn't matter if you haven't been taught. Self-massage is really important. For instance, if the lymphedema is in your arm, you can do something so simple as just forming a hook and massaging, stroking all the way up, all the way, all the way, all the way to help the fluid. We've talked in previous videos, skin brushing. So go back and have a look. Skin brush daily. That's all added to self-massage. Skin care. I talk about skin care to my patients every single day. Skin care is really important. Now, there is going to be another video that's going to follow very shortly about what I call a zero-rated skin care regime. That means by applying a lotion or skin product on your skin that has no toxins. We don't want any toxins going into the skin because our lymphatic system as a lymphedema patient is already compromised. So we want a zero rated skin care. Watch out for that video, it's coming soon. I can't stress enough how important a regular manual lymphatic drainage treatment is. Now I don't mean with anybody, it needs to be with a qualified therapist. It doesn't matter if it's not in the Vodder school where I was trained. There are quite a few different schools. There's the Foldy school from Europe, there's many. But it must be a qualified therapist, not just a massage therapist or an aromatherapist who's done lymphatic drainage as a side course. It needs a specialist who works with the laser to break down fibrosis, who knows where the lymphatic pathways are and knows where the alternative pathways are if you've had radiation. All of those things are really, really important. I mentioned exercise, but walking is very important. As you walk and you swing your arms, as you walk and you swing your legs, so the muscles pump the lymph. So a 20 minute walk from your front door, walk out for 50 minutes, turn around and come back. So it's maybe a 30 minute walk, a 20 to 30 minute walk every single day. Try and make that a routine. It will really stand you in good stead. It doesn't matter how slow you walk. And if you've never done walking before, because you feel that it's been uncomfortable, just start with walking from your front door to the front of your gate and back and if that's comfortable then go from your gate up the road until you are managing a 20 minute walk every day now we're getting closer and closer to the really important things number two elevation i have spoken about elevation 
but if at the end of the day you've got swollen ankles your legs feel tight the legs feel heavy put those legs up but it's really important if you're wearing your stocking if you're going to put the legs up after that you've got to go straight to bed because you can't walk down without your stocking because the fluid will come running back in again really really quickly so elevation what a lovely way to relax at the end of the day by elevation and if it's lymphedema in the arm relax on the couch and elevate this arm above the heart so elevation is not here it's here and now number one this is what i'm really excited about back in 1996 a japanese scientist discovered the nrf1 and nrf2 pathways in the cell so it's actually a part of the cell that can be activated and i am so blessed to be working with a product where these are activated and what that does for the lymphedema patient is phenomenal it reduces oxidative stress by 40 percent in 30 days how marvelous is that so there's more about that on my website so if there are any questions as to how you can get in contact with these products please get back to me and i will point you in the right direction there is a link in the section below thank you so much for watching the next video in this series for lymphedema patients is the zero rated skincare